Hey, this is Mark with Magnolia Oaks Wood Shop, and today I'm going to be doing a review of this downdraft table insert. So uh, you can see right here, I'm going to change around the camera so you can see exactly where I installed it and talk you through some of the features. So you can see I have an assembly table that I recently built here, and I want something that was not going to be in the way. So I want it built into my table. And so uh, I learned a lot in this install building a downdraft box. And, um, I, I thought it would be best if I had it somewhere on the end of the cart. So I have my grinders and I have my pads and sanding um, equipment down below that. And then right here, you can see I added a piano hinge. You just have a simple door that swings back. And here it is right here. It's about, uh, I think, 27 by... Well, I don't want to lie. Just look on the, the notes to see the actual dimensions. But it's four panels. And they need to be fairly tight in this little section right here. But the thing that I like most about this is that when I need to use it, it's right there. It's not in the way. I don't have to have a separate box that I store somewhere and then uh, come and place it on top and uh, clamp it down and, and um, just kind of have something in the way. I want something that was uh, out of sight, out of my mind. And I find that this works really, really good. I'll show you the inside. <laughs> it's very much under construction, but you can see kind of what it looks like. Um, I just built some panels going down at angles, um, and uh, at the very least, it is collecting it into this box, and I don't have to have uh, dust all over my unit, so um, all over my shop, rather. So anyway, you just built a downdraft box. Uh, right here, I have a four-inch uh, hose coming out, and if you can see over here, I have... This four inch hose is basically attached to the other side. I pull out this, this end and I put it onto my wind dust collector down here. So uh, it works really good and it stays out of the way. This is a, uh, you know, a, a Polk style bench that you can see where I can put everything underneath um, so I don't have my table cluttered. But I found this to work really well. You're always tweaking with um, the layout of the dust box itself to make sure that you get the most suction downward as possible. But um, whether it's in inside this box or actually in the dust collector itself, it, it's fine either way for me. The biggest thing is I just want something where I wouldn't have it all over my shop. So anyway, um, you can build your own of these, but I found that for the money and the quality of these, it has these nice rubber pads right here so your uh, items don't get marred up. Um, these big nice holes uh, that are you know, uh, round over, they have a round over on them so they're smooth, uh, allows maximum su um, suckage, I guess, to go through. So I, I don't think for the money you can beat it and definitely, you know, building it will take you a lot of time. Um, so I recommend this. It works well for me. I have a small woodworking shop and uh, if you're looking for something like this, I think it's a great project. Mm -hmm. 